Hi again, and welcome to the third and final video of our three-part series on creating an illustration with Adobe Ideas and Illustrator. In this video, we'll retrieve our illustration from Creative Cloud, and I'll show you some techniques for cleaning up your image in Illustrator. So you can see that I'm in Creative Cloud, and here's our image that's been synced from my iPad. I'm going to download the file in its original Ideas format. This will allow me to edit it in Illustrator. I can download by clicking this icon right here, selecting Original, and clicking on Download. Since I'm using Illustrator CS6, I can open up my Ideas files directly, but if you're working with CS5 or 5.1, you'll have to download a plugin from Creative Cloud. So here we have my illustration in Illustrator, and you can see that all of the colors are here, and Transparency has been retained, where I use transparent colors. If you go into the Layers panel, you can see that all of the layers are there that I used while I was creating my illustration. But if you expand the layer, you can see that each layer is made up of the individual strokes I created while I was drawing my image. I'm going to show you a few methods of cleaning up the illustration by grouping these strokes. The first method is to unite the strokes within each layer. Let's demonstrate this with the line work layer. Open up the Layers panel and click on this little tab to the right of the layer name. This will select all of the artwork on this layer. Now go up to your menu bar and click on Window and go down to Pathfinder. We're going to go ahead and click on this little icon here. This will unite all of the strokes into one object wherever they overlap. So you can see that my line work is now flattened into larger shapes wherever the strokes overlapped and the shapes have been grouped together. With the line work now selected, we can change the fill color by double clicking on the color swatch and choosing a new color. If we wanted to, we could add a stroke, a pattern, or even a gradient to our line work now. I can ungroup my line work by right-clicking on my line work and selecting Ungroup. I can now move parts of my line work independently. Let's look at a technique you could use if you have multiple colors on the same layer. This will be especially helpful for Android users who are restricted to one draw layer within Ideas. With the Selection tool, I'll click on the color I'd like to edit and go to Select, Same, Fill Color. Now I can edit the color of these objects just like I did before with the line work. If I want to reposition the contents of my illustration, make sure all of your layers are ungrouped and grab the lasso tool or hit Q on your keyboard. Then encircle the elements you want to move, grab the selection tool or hit V on your keyboard, and move the group to wherever you want it to go. You can also reposition parts of your illustration by shift clicking to select multiple objects. To do this, click on an object hold down shift and start clicking on other objects. This technique is best if you want to move only a few objects. So now let's look at how we can tweak the actual shape of objects. I'm going to select the zoom tool from my toolbar or you can hit Z on your keyboard and I'm going to zoom into an area of my illustration. I'm going to click on the direct selection tool from my toolbar or hit A on your keyboard and I want to delete this little area of color. To do that I can just click on the colored area and hit delete. I can also use a direct selection tool to select individual anchor points on my objects. This will allow me to edit the shape of these objects. So now that you know some techniques for cleaning up your ideas illustration in Illustrator, you can set up your image for almost any creative project, including screen printing, web design, or even opening it up in Photoshop. And with that, we come to the end of our three-part series. I hope you have learned what a fantastic tool Ideas is and how powerful it can be when paired with Illustrator. Have fun and happy creating!